Hello and welcome in Revive and Net Prosper. Today I have some like very special feature which we've been working on last three weeks and that's the building system of the walls and houses. So let me show you quickly. Uh, so I can just go here and in the menu there are like new options. You can see that we're using the structure menu so we have multiple selections under one option to simplify the menu. So I can go here and define the walls like that. Uh, the walls when I place them are already active, so I can probably build here some door to give them like some place to enter and exit. Uh, I can do it like this frame. Okay. So as you can see, we can change the type of the wall uh, here in the menu, even when it's built or not. I can change it like that. I think this is like a very cool feature because you will find out very quickly that you don't know what you actually will need in the future. So this will not be a problem, it won't limit you. So you can design what you want. So let's build another lever here. Okay. Okay, now uh, it won't be really house if you do not have floors, right? So place here some nice floor and we put it to place here on the first level. This so we don't need it anymore. And we will probably want in our house of some kind of entry here. So let's remove this place. And, uh, there is another feature that we can see on the certain levels. So I can very easily build this. I don't need the stairs, so I'll do like that, like that. And I can hide it. Now, uh, how this works is that you can generally build a floor, uh, let's say, you can build it here, and you can build like up to two fields from a supporting wall. So, if I do something like that, I can build it here, and this is like two, I can see like distance is like one because this is, I'm sorry, this is like very programmatic, it's like zero, it's close to the wall. One is like one field from the wall, and this field is already like three, so you cannot build the floor here. Uh, but what you can do actually is that uh, you can support it by a column here. Done. Okay. Okay. And now I can build more. Okay. Uh, in this case, there is something uh, we did is a little bit special and uh, we have something defined as uh, some kind of like structural integrity and uh, what you cannot do is to build a wall in some kind of side floor like this so the system will not allow you to build the wall here because it's invalid placement why? Uh, because then you would be able to build like crazy will be able to build like to the side and to actually replace the bridges. We don't want that. But you can build a wall on any floor that is between two walls. Okay, so I can build it here, 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 I cannot build it here anymore or here. I think that's a very simple rule. It allow us to not build just on the actual build it like this. Nice. Let's put some door here. Okay, we can do like that. We can do like this. This, this, this. Okay. Now we can place our beds here. The sleeping space here. It's okay. Now probably we we'll want to build another level here. Okay, now we have to get the windows. So let's do it like that. Nice. You can see the characters are different. This is the only job that they're doing. It's actually quite fast and it's moving very much forward. Now I can build here a door for them for every room. Okay, and they're already sleeping. And I can build for them like that. So I have a few like small rooms. Now the columns will work for them and they can rest. We'll cover it with some kind of roof 
Uh, we don't have the roofs yet, it will be probably next week. Um, but yeah, the roofs will definitely be coming, that's a nice feature that we need to add. I don't think it will be so complicated. But yeah, I can build like houses like that. I think it's, it's like it's really something nice that we can do here. And if you want, we can build that as a bridge. So what we can do here is, uh, let's use some other type of wall. We have here bricks. It's like a new factory that digging souls and you can go to the small furnace and you can make bricks. So let's actually destroy this and turn the brick. Okay, so let's see. We did work a lot on the cursor, so the cursor should be actually like pointing. The edges you should be able to easily expand it. Alright, okay, columns are working, characters are still sleeping, and uh, we have the type of the walls. So we have the this uh, iron walls, which we need the iron, we'll probably change it to steel. I have another set of irons. You have the mud, which is built from the mud and Planks, and we have the only the wooden one. It doesn't have any difference in functionality, it all works the same, it's just a visual feature how it looks. And I think it's nice. We may use it for some kind of like equipment that in the future it can have better isolation or something like that. Not sure yet. See. Okay, let's try it a bit here. I cannot do that because I'm on top of inside this uh, structure. Okay. Yeah. Looks nice. It's a bit already working a real building house. I hope you will like it. This is I think a very cool feature. And uh, that is another thing that we have to add and that's a structural integrity. So let's destroy that. Let's see what will happen if we go open the water. So what you can see is that it will become red, and once it is red, it means that it's going to be damaged, and uh, it will take a little bit of time, and it dies. Yeah, and it starts to collapse. Okay, if the structure collapse, everything under that will collapse, and uh, <laughs> you can see they're still flying in there, and the that, but uh, structural destruction is already in place so all that you can see can be destroyed by the water thank you very much